हेलो संदीप వస్తుంది మేడం వినిపిస్తుంది కదా నేను మాట్లాడుతూ
Yeah, very good afternoon. This is Sandeep Chaitanya, working in the department of uh, CSC, PNRBG IIT. Once again, warm welcome to all the participants, my fellow colleagues, parents, students, and our alumni and industry experts to the panel discussion on uh, admissions for the Department of uh, Computer Science Engineering and uh, Computer Science and Business Systems. So it's my privilege to introduce uh, our HOD, Dr. S. Nagini, working as professor in the Department of CSC and CSBS. She was live today. And also, it's my privilege to introduce Dr. C. Kiran Mayimam and Dr. B. V. Kiran Mayimam, working as uh, professors in the Department of CSC and CSBS for the last 20 years. And also, Dr. B. V. Shukumar, sir, is an uh, academic uh, expert in the Department of CSC. Is also working for last year, 20 years. So we have the uh, placement coordinator, P. Ramakrishna Garu. Thank you, sir. Thank you for accepting and joining for the meet. And finally, I would like to thank our alumni and uh, industry experts, Mihir and moreover, uh, Sri Chatulasi, for joining the session. Once again, uh, warm welcome to all the participants. Very good afternoon. Now I request uh, Nagini, ma'am, to take over the session. Thank you. Yeah, uh, I hope I'm audible. Uh, this is yes, ma'am, you are audible, ma'am. A warm welcome to all the parents and the students who are willing to join me in our Uh And uh, I want to thank even Dr. Kant Sudha, ma'am, who will be giving more inputs on uh, regarding uh, whether you can be admitted into based on the ranks that you have got. So warm welcome, Kantasudha ma'am also. Yeah, good morning ma'am. Sorry, I was stuck in some other thing. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, uh, yes, we, yeah. so ma'am, uh, I'll be just introducing to all of you about the department and uh, strengths of the department. Yes ma'am. Followed by which uh, a bit of academics and all will be elaborated to you and what are the differentiators the department is posting will be done Later on, uh, in better inputs on placements will be given to you. And, uh, you know, our alumni also will give certain inputs to you. And later, the uh, floor is open for questionnaire regarding any any questions. You can just open the questions over here. And the appropriate people will be answering back to you. Uh, so we'll go ahead with the uh, inputs related to the department. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, Mr. Sandit, can you start your presentation? Uh, so, Sandip, I'll just give the opening remarks. Um, so, if you will. Yes. Meanwhile, while, while you can start sharing, okay? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So, welcome to all the parents and students who have joined us for this session on engineering education, charting the right career choice. Uh, so, this is part of the series of panel discussions which we have been conducting across all the branches of engineering. Especially uh, VNR VJIT has been conducting these sessions uh, since many years. And this is just to give an insights about the branch prospects and as well as uh, allow you to interact with us uh, on a live session like this. So I'm very thankful to all the branches and uh, especially today, head of the department, Nagni Ma'am, and her team, uh, those who have uh, enabled all the panel members, especially coming from the industry and also their alumni joining this session. So I think the parents and students who have logged in, they can take the benefit of it and uh, leverage the knowledge what they have been conveying through this particular session uh, to make a judicious choice about what kind of branches you should go about. And uh, as we were suggesting, let the panel members first speak out and then later towards the end of the session, mm -hmm. any questionnaires or queries related to this particular branch uh, will be taken up towards the end of the session. And you can also type in the chat box also if you have any queries at that particular point so that we can keep on uh, clarifying that thing. So thank you. And over to you, Sandeep, so you can carry on. Sandeep, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you very much, ma'am. Yeah. yeah. Uh, now I request our uh, Honorable HOD and Professor Dr. S. Nagini to discuss about the uh, admission process yeah. and about the department. Uh, can you start the presentation, Sandeep? Yes, ma'am, sure. <clears throat>
Yeah, uh, we'll just start off. Uh, so from the department of CSC and CSBS, a warm welcome to the parents and the students who, are, uh, who wanted to know about what the department and how it functions. So we'll just go ahead. So we'll go ahead with the highlights of the, both the departments and the, what are the faculty and the collaborations that we have and the research and consultancy that we undertake and the placements perspective. And what are the, as on today, what are the achievements the students as well as faculty have? And also, where at what all level our students have excelled? So this can be taken with the help of our alumni. And what are the differentiators we have in the department? So, yeah. so just for our information, uh, Department of CSC uh, was started in the year 1995. And... Uh, it is a prestigious department for its ability to research and development activities apart from regular academics. We are accredited uh, last year and uh, all, uh, J we are also recognized as a research center by JNUH where the full-time scholars are available on the campus. So this gives a better, uh, uh, you know, an edge for all the youngsters who are joining into the department towards research side. This helps them in going ahead for MS programs or uh, pick up any government agency for getting into the research side. Excellent. So these are the prospects in the department. We have Center of Excellence in Data Science and we are recognized by Research Center by J2H. And we definitely impart a high quality education to the students not only through the uh, academics, regular uh, courses that we deliver, we also give uh, certification courses, which will help them to get absorbed in an industry in an easy and a smooth way. And for all this, to support all this, we have experienced and competent faculty enough. And we always had a track record of 95 plus placements. And these are the basic things that we are uh, working on. Next. And we, we offer two UG programs in the department. One is computer science and engineering. The other is computer science business systems, which we initiated in the year 2019 in collaboration with GCS. And we have two PG programs in the department in computer science engineering and software engineering. Computer science business system uh, most revolves around business 4.0 and now the curriculum is still updated to ensure that we meet the current trends of uh, what the industry is requiring because the entire curriculum is designed not by just uh, VNR VJIT but VNR VJIT gives certain inputs to the uh, TCS people and TCS in, along with ISC Bangalore and Kolkata make sure that the curriculum is inclined towards how the what industry is re, uh, requires and the curriculum is designed and what are all the job prospects that the computer science business system students as well as the CSC students can be placed into and not only into product based service based government and private sectors bank and health insurance sectors manufacturing sector financial sector business analysis and marketing sector apart from this students have a wide choice of getting into research at a very younger age About the faculty, we have 66 of the faculty and six of them are professors, out of which one is a post-doctoral uh, 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 professor and five associate professors we have and 55 assistant professors and the number of PhDs in the department is 28 and faculty pursuing PhD are 35. So this the, the PhDs and the pursuing PhDs is the place where the students can definitely squeeze in and start their uh, career in terms of research. And we advise the students to publish papers by the end of four years. This shows, this drives them into getting very easily absorbed into the foreign universities based on the work that they carry out. And our faculty expertise, that we are certified from IIIT Hyderabad Service Now Emeritus in the corresponding technologies. Apart from that, the, the expertise is available in AI and machine learning, data science, AR and VR, deep learning, service design thinking, and cybersecurity. And I would like to say proudly that we have got funding from the government agency to carry out some works in tourism sector in terms of, in terms of AR and VR. So we would involve the students equally in all these categories, wherever the funds we receive. 
so that the students get exposure towards all these aspects. Next. Next. Uh, this is about the infrastructure in the department. We have 17 academic uh, laboratories. Apart from that, we have two, uh, four research laboratories in this. And the weekend project laboratory is always open all days. And the students can stay back, work. Uh, it is not only these labs are op kept open for the students, but all the academic labs, if they want, they want to work on beyond college hours, they are kept open. And all the classrooms and laboratories are ICT enabled. We have a good Wi-Fi campus. With, uh, as the internet bandwidth has been increased from uh, 500 Mbps right now to 3000 Mbps. And we have not only the central uh, uh, library facilities, but we have department library facilities in the department itself, which will cater to the needs of the students. And still at a larger scale, if they want certain inputs, they, they are diverted to the main library of the entire institute. These are the some, some of the collaborations with uh, which, which uh, we have. Uh, we have a uh, lot of companies that we have. And uh, we have two industries, laboratory sponsored laboratories in the departments. As on today, one is active, very much active, that is on platforms. Uh, one of the uh, person from Tex House has uh, sponsored that laboratory. Students are uh, get internships, placements, remote internship projects, industrial visits, guest lectures, technical trainings, and curriculum design. These, these are the things that we come across through these sort of collaborations. Apart from industries, we also have collaboration with higher educational institutes like NITs and other Orient uh, universities. And we are also trying to collaborate with one of the foreign universities, Virginia Commonwealth University, where we wanted to get associated with the faculty over there for doing the research activities initially. And uh, you know, the students in this collaboration are will can take over the research projects from here, and later the absorption rate into the MS programs become easy for them. Next. This is about the research and consultancy that we have carried out till date. We have a lot of uh, sponsored research uh, and consultancy works that we have done. So I could say that around more uh, 1.36 crores grants have been received in both the perspectives to carry out consultancy as well as the sponsored research. And in all these cases, if the students are willing to join and also we uh, encourage them to join in all our uh, initiatives so that the knowledge about uh, not only getting into an IT industry comes into their mindset, but they also are inclined towards developing their own products, uh, innovating themselves, starting. We have a lot of subjects which help them to start an idea, plan, design, and get into uh, ideation, and then back into the prototyping. Next. So I request Dr. P.V. Shivakumar to take over the academics part of this. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah, myself, Dr. P.V. Shukumar, and I'm going to explain about the academics, how exactly we can take it forward in our VNR VJIT. And today I'm going to explain how exactly the CSA and CSBS curriculum we are designing at our institution. As an autonomous institution, we have the liberty to frame the curriculum as per the industry needs. We can do a lot of exercise. We have our own BYS committee. And in that committee, we are having industry experts, uh, the higher educational experts like IIT, IIIT, HCU, and Osmania University, JNTU. And we are framing all the curriculum as per the industry ready. Our curriculum basically designed with 160 credits. And we are offering 10 active courses during the curriculum. So out of these 10, uh, 10 electives, we are offering four open elective courses and six professional elective courses. So under this open elective courses, the student can get their uh, choice from other department courses. Like, for example, if the student is more interested to learn about 3D printing, which is offered by the mechanical department, they can offer it. If they want to learn about robotics, they can choose that open elective, which is offered by the EIA department. If they are, want to learn about smart cities, they can choose that open elective, which is offered by the civil department like that. 
So entire curriculum, there are four open electives they can choose and there are six courses, professional electives they can choose. So under CSC professional elective baskets, we are offering all emerging technology courses. So right from AI, ML, deep learning, neural networks, cybersecurity, IoT, data science, all courses we are going to offer under this professional elective. The student can choose whichever the subject they are very interested to learn during the third year and final year. Apart from this, we can offer a lot of project component for the entire curriculum. So we are offering field project, summer internship project, mini project, major project. Around 20 credits were just exclusively designed for the project component only. So not only these projects, we can also offer course-based projects for the lab-oriented courses. For each lab courses, we are going to give the lab course at the end of the course, the student can implement some course-based project also for every lab course. And we are offering certificate courses. It is mandatory. Each student must complete two certification courses in the entire curriculum of BTEC. And we are also offering MOOCs courses, NPTEL courses, which is equivalent to our curriculum. If the student willing to take this NPTEL course, they can complete that course in NPTEL and that credit we are going to transfer here. So the, the courses can be offered by the NITs, IITs and many experts through the NPTEL's FIAM. Apart from this, we are also included many mandatory and audit courses like happiness, wellness courses, ancient wisdom, gender sensitization, environmental sciences, Indian constitutions, essence of Indian traditional knowledge, so many courses, all those audit courses also we are offering every semester. So we are keeping all the features in the curriculum. And we are offering two more uh, courses, uh, including regular courses, that is minor degree concept and harness degree concept. If the student is really interested to learn something beyond the curriculum, they can offer this minor degree courses. So right now for CSC and CSBS students, we are offering entrepreneurship minor degree course where the student in the third year and final year, they can take this minor degree. So they need to register for six courses, which is equivalent to 18 credits. So if they completed successfully that 18 degree, 18 credits uh, courses so they will get to finally the degree will be like this the btech degree in CSE or csbs with minor degree in innovation and entrepreneurship so this is one feature and coming to the harness degree if additionally six elective courses so actually as per curriculum the student need to opt six uh, professional elective courses apart from six additional six courses if the student can take they will get this harness degree. So generally the people who are going for the higher studies, US, UK and all, so this higher degree, uh, harness degree will give them more weightage for them because uh, they are going to get more credits here and they're getting more courses here. So automatically they're getting easily the specialized courses in the MS or US, US universities or UK universities. And this is the, uh, br briefly I'm explaining what exactly the features of uh, our curriculum. And we are going to evaluate each course for the 100 marks, where 40 marks we are going to give for the internal evaluation and 60 marks for the external evaluation. So for internal evaluation also, we are keeping the regulations like that. Minimum out of 40, 14 must be acquired by the student. If he failed to acquire 14 in the internal evaluation, he will be not be permitted to take the semester end examination. So it is giving the more uh, concept oriented for the student and we are going to take uh, <coughs> continuous evaluation mid one, mid two, assignment one, assignment two, so that the student can easily adapt it with the academic system and he will acquire all the required the academic basic knowledge in the first year and second year, which is going to helpful in the third year to get the internships in the uh, uh, great uh, MNCs and all. So that is main features of our academic curriculum features.
थैंक यू थैंक यू मैम थैंक यू संदीप yeah i request uh, dr uh, p ramkrishna sir to speak about the placements perspective of the department uh, thank you ma'am uh, good afternoon everyone and all uh, this is ramkrishna training and placement coordinator for cse and csbs branches and you all know that the current situation of it market even in this situation tough situation also so our students uh, of cse and csbs students uh, 83% of csc students got placed in the reputed top mnc companies and 72% of the csbs students got placed in the top companies and this process is still going on in this month also we have a couple of drives and till may uh, these are the statistics and our students so uh, last year uh, two students got placed in google with a pay package of 49 and we have also have a international offer that is a company name is juniper networks and uh, package is 97 lpa and our students are working at amazon and four students got placed in amazon uh, uh, with a pay package of 45 lakhs and last year csc and csb students also working in uh, amazon with 21 lpa and one student got placed in microsoft with a pay package of 49 lpa and one student got placed in denso japanese based company with a pay package of 41 lakhs so likewise a minimum of 3 lakhs to a maximum of uh, a 97 lpa is uh, offering and uh, all these achievements it's because of uh, offering the trainings internships and uh, certification courses and projects and because of all this only our students uh, achieved all these things and uh, from the first year second semester onwards so we are uh, offering the training so in the first year second semester students will learn the web development related training that is called full stack web, web development so front end technologies they will learn in the first year second semester and uh, in the second year first semester they will learn uh, uh, back end technologies and later at the end of the semester they will develop one web application and one mobile application and why they are why we are providing this training from first year second semester itself means in the second year second semester every year jp morgan will come will company will visit our campus and they will uh, hire the students and they will offer the pay package 19.75 and last year uh, 26 students uh, got the placement and 24 students from the csc and two students from the csbs and third year students already got placed uh, 23 students already got placed in uh, uh, jp morgan and uh, currently they are doing internship at uh, jp morgan and uh, because of uh, offering the internship and uh, for this we are just uh, give providing the training uh full stack web development and in the second year second semester uh, we are also providing the we are uh, we are offering the coding skills training basic coding skills training will be offered and uh, after that then uh, in the third year first semester students will be shortlisted based on their performance and again will be uh, offering the advanced coding skills training in the third year first semester after that in the third year second semester we are offering uh, aptitude training and also we are offering some uh, uh, trainings on some technologies like uh, machine learning deep learning cyber security blockchain all these on, on all these technologies so from the first year second semester to till third year second semester so students will learn all these technologies and will be offered the trainings and because of all this only and because of doing the certification courses on the uh, various technologies and because of uh, uh, participating in the various coding contests and participating in various software hardware related hackathons and because of doing the internship at top mnc companies so students are getting the good placement with a high package so all this achieved uh, uh, since uh, uh, many years so if you see this statistics here the last 4 years so we have uh, packages like uh, 8.6 lakhs to 97 lpa so next slide sandeep sir next slide sandeep can you go to the next slide 
Yeah. And these are the highlights. Uh, uh, one of our student, uh, Lasya Kilari, got the international offer with 97 LPA. And uh, Shrija Tulasi and Hiranmayi Supriya, they're currently working in Google with 49 LPA. And uh, uh, Microsoft, uh, Priti is working at Microsoft with 49 LPA. And I told you just now the pay cause of JP Morgan. So already final year students are working at uh, JPMC, 24 CSE students and two CSBS students. And also currently, current third year students. 23 students are working at JPMC. They're uh, under internship and uh, they're offering uh, 70,000 uh, stipend and also they are offering the package 19.75 LPA. And this year we also, uh, like uh, Oracle is visited in the last year and this year, and they're also offering 50,000 stipend and they're offering the package 19.18. And eight students, one from CSBS and uh, eight students from CSE, uh, they got Oracle offer with a pay package of 19.1 LPA and uh, current uh, uh, 20, uh, third year students, 23 students are uh, presently working at JPMC and uh, recently uh, in the last month uh, Oppo has visited our campus and 12 CSC students of uh, current third year they are doing internship at uh, Oppo R&D and they are offering 30k stipend. So likewise, many companies are offering the internship and also they're offering the stipend from 15,000 to 1 lakh 10,000 stipend also they're offering and for our students and also from 3 lakhs to 98 lakhs, uh, they're offering the packages to our students uh, because of offering all these uh, trainings because of the certification courses because of these internships uh, and the one-to-one -one care uh, and we are also providing the moral support we are giving the one-to-one -one interaction and wherever whenever they are low on particular uh, situation definitely we'll call them and we'll sit with them and we'll discuss about everything the personally or academically if they are lack about anything so everything we'll discuss with the students and one-to-one -one interaction will be there and will uh, definitely the our students of CSC and CSBS definitely will get a good package. So that is our promise from our side, from our department. Thank you very much, ma'am. So these are certain faculty awards and achievements. Uh, uh, Dr. P. Anjusha received the Best Researcher Award and Vasundra has received Student Mentorship and Development Award by yeah, AIMRs in 2024. Dr. Bandhubala received Best Family Award by same AMR Society. And CSA Department received Appreciation Certificate uh, for participating in Google Career Certificate Scholarship Program, delivered with uh, Tata Strike for the year 2023. So many of the students have gone, undergone this uh, program under Tata Strike. And, uh, our faculty are exposed to the outside world and they have won gold and silver medals in INEX 2023. Uh, and under them, many of the students also work. And uh, Dr. P.V. Shukumar is awarded for his outstanding contribution to CSI in CSI Excellence Award 2022-23. Dr. C. Kiranmai and, and Sandeep Chetunya were awarded for the largest CSI student branch in CSI Excellence Awards 22-23. And some more uh, in pipeline, uh, uh, our, uh, CSBS students have been uh, uh, undergone a faculty championship program uh, offered by Stanford University for the first batch in 2021. And this was uh, taken care by Dr. Tejaswini. Uh, Port Lodi and Dr. B.V. Kiranmai received the CSI Best Accredited Student Branch Award in 2020. Sandeep Chaitanya again received the same award. We have been bagging this award uh, continuously. And Bharat Kumar received the Best Teacher Award from Bharat the Educational Excellence Award. Dr. B.V. Shivakumar received the U.S. Acharya Award from Bharat the Educational Excellence Award. And uh, Banu Sri Eston Prowse selected as the best paper. Uh, paper was titled uh, Best Paper by IEEE Conference, uh, organized by WIT. And Ramesh Chandra Prowse is awarded as Best CSE Teacher Award by IST in the year 2019. Uh, usually, for the we deliver the content in terms of awards and achieve, achievements, at least for the past five years. So that's how the. Minimalistic information has been projected to you.
Next. These are some of the student awards and achievements. Uh, two of our uh, third year CSC students uh, in, participated in the hackathon with the women and secured the first and third positions in 2024. And four of our third year CSC students ba uh, bagged first runner up prize with a cash of 30,000 in CMR Hackfest and hackathons. All of us students are encouraged to participate in all events organized, technical events, as well as curricular and extracurricular activities organized by other colleges, including IITs and NITs. And uh, Pranavi Chaturvedala is the student who got selected for by Telangana Economic Times for Campus Start 5.0 in 2023. And uh, Third year CSBS student, K. Sathin Reddy won second prize and cash amount of 7,500 in Ideathon organized by IIT Rooki. Kitad and Padmavati Kirtna Snigda, these are the four people who have been selected for University Innovation Fellowship Program by Stanford University in 2021. Vasudas received Best Student Innovator Award by Marvi um, Lakshman Reddy Institute of Technology, IST Telangana Student Chapter. In 2020, he is running his own industry. He is an entrepreneur. And Abhignan and Nagvenkat Sinduja won second prize in coding contest held at CMR. These are samplings that we just wanted to showcase it to you. But definitely, we have a lot of motivation towards students to go and participate in various hackathons as well as coding contests. And our students have even won prize in Smart India Hackathon. And uh, to name some of these, uh, and uh, there are certain products which we delivered and they got prizes. Uh, the Pet Munch was awarded best product uh, in OMG 2017, in the year 2017. So these are some of them, uh, the students, whoever are going to join, you are exposed to the outside world where you can go and uh, expose about how good you are in terms of coding, doing hackathons, or extracurricular or co-curricular activities. Next. Some of the student excellence that we, our students got. Next. Our uh, student, uh, alumni students who have turned uh, uh, turned into an entrepreneur. Uh, one is Rupesh Pittal. He started Cyber Jagruti in 2019, and the process is continuing. He is training, offering training in cybersecurity for police uh, as well as the students across uh, national level. And uh, one of our students uh, uh, got placed in Denso, a Japanese company with a 40 lakh package in, uh, in, in that, uh, he is a graduate in from 2019 to 23 batch. And, uh, and Ramana Prasad Kovanmudi, he is the CEO of uh, Prasad Hospitals. Uh, so he has been uh, portrayed in Forbes, India in 2019. So to name some, where our students excel not only in terms of placements, but they have been, uh, they have started their own companies and they are working very hard in a very positive direction. Next. Uh, I request Dr. Seeker and my mom to speak about the department distinctiveness. Thank you, uh, Nagini. Uh, could you please increase the volume of your system? Uh, I'm not audible. Ah, now it's okay. Right. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, there's a long list of achievements and uh, both the faculty and also the students. Uh, which I think HOD Madam has cut short to make it more interactive with the parents. So uh, now come, being the most uh, secret branch and also the, the teenagers joining the club, our CSC club with the bubbling energy and all, it's of course a challenging task for us as teachers, but at the same time to keep them occupied, we initiate many uh, uh, object or rather programs in the department to addressing the needs of uh, the slow learners and the fast learners also. At the same time, motivating them towards their career and also counseling to achieve their set goals. Uh, when we look into the uh, outcomes, not uh, in terms of the teaching skills, or the learning skills of the teachers, uh, learning skills of the students, 
we do adapt to the uh, recent uh, teaching learning methodologies. Witten will is one of those wherein before uh, the starting of the class itself, we make it clear to them why the subject is being taught to them for each and every unit. How is it, uh, how it can go into an application when they happen to pursue it in their employment or maybe if they turn out to be an entrepreneur and also for the higher education. The flipped classroom methodology, which will enable the slow learners also to team up, team up with the advanced uh, fast learners and try to come out of their cocoon with their ideology and present it in a more proper format. So that's why when uh, Shukma sir was mentioning about the projects, course-based project is one of the methodology that is being taken for the lab courses. It becomes a day-to-day -day evaluation for the student also, not to wait till the last and see that why the student is not able to do in the uh, do better in the coding skills. So uh, for each and every experiment, they design a program or the, they come up with a real-time example and relate the coding that is learned in the class to it. And at the end of the semester, they present the course-based project, which can turn out to a best paper for a publication. There are cases wherein the students go in for patenting their uh, knowledge also. So such will be the motivation that will be given to the students uh, while they are uh, in the campus. So to inculcate the coding culture and uh, peer learning or uh, to have a teamwork, Turing Hut is one of the initiative in the department, which has been done by the students themselves in coordination with the faculty, wherein they'll put it into practice or they are going to enhance the coding skills of each and every student. So this will take them or rather motivate them to participate in various hackathons and then come out with flying colors. The hackathons that are organized not only in the institute, but outside also, they are uh, supported with the knowledge and also the implementation part of it by a well-trained and qualified faculty, a team which we have in the department, who are competent enough to take the students to the national and the international levels also, by making them participate in the ACM and other uh, worldwide recognized contests. The industry certifications that have been offered, which has, which has been elaborated by my colleague Ramakrishna, which will enable them to be on par with the industry while they are before they graduate from our portals. The outcomes are the extra credits, what they can gain by registering under the uh, minor degrees or the major degrees, or also the certifications which they do along with us. The teachers are also continuously on the learning portal with the students, they keep upgrading their knowledge so that the classroom teaching is not on a rote mode, but it is everyday learning, which happens to be in line with the industry. The outcomes of this are the expertise, what we happen to create among the students, the research and funding proposals put forth by the faculty, the placement of the students in the reputed companies in this hour of uh, recession. This has enhanced the competent, competitive coding skills of the students by participating in the funding projects of the faculty also and publicizing, uh, publishing the papers who happens to be the faculty in the department. This has brought up quality publications and also enhanced research culture among the students, wherein in first year itself, our students, they talk about uh, how can we present a paper? Where, where can we go to present our learnings, which has also already in the past acquired uh, prizes for them. So this uh, the exposure, of the uh, faculty research and funding projects will encourage the advanced learners to keep abreast with the developments in the market and also turning into a best entrepreneurs. These entrepreneurs at the initial level are hosted in the college itself where, by providing the required infrastructure and a seed amount, a minimal seed amount, which will encourage them to pursue their 
dreams and goals later on when they are successful then they go up uh, and uh, have their own company outside we uh, the giving back of alumni to the department would be in the form of uh, motivational lectures career guidance to their peers or the juniors and uh, those are associated with the companies they com uh, continuously visit to train them in cracking the interviews and the best opportunities in the placement world so these are some of the initiatives taken up in the department to make them not only industry ready but at the same time to have that feature of inclusiveness to the society wherein the best project that is designed which has a societal impact is awarded on the annual day function wherein the prize is distributed in front of the entire college the guests the peers all these things such would it be the encouragement wherein we mold our students into an all round personality to keep them happy a healthy mind is a happy mind and our students leave the portal with the happiness and healthy thinking that they can give back to the society thank you nagni i'm done yeah thank you ma'am uh, sandeep can you go to the next slide please so this is the department's uh, faculty uh, at a glance uh, so i request uh, sandeep uh, uh, to interact with the alumni please sandeep yes ma'am thank you ma'am yeah uh, once again welcome to um, here and uh, sri jatulasi for joining the session uh, so first of all going to the mihir are you there uh, yes sir yeah okay good thank afternoon. you yeah very once again very good afternoon mihir can you say uh, how the uh, vnr and department of csc helped you a lot to molding your career and what are the different type of opportunities that we have been provided in vnr uh yeah sure uh, good afternoon everyone i'm here gadwalkar uh, currently working as cloud engineer at aws amazon uh, so i am a passed out of uh, computer science and business systems from 2019 to 2023 so the department of cspss and csc has been uh, has played a pivotal role in my career uh, until now and going forward too because uh, Uh, the best thing about the department is the faculty they are very approachable and are always ready to help you uh, with soft skills technical skills be it uh, any programming languages be it you want to learn something or you are stuck up in your personal life and want to get some motivation they are always there so the faculty is always helping you to get out of you uh, from trouble situations and ready to help you uh, get through what you are going through right now and the next thing next best thing is the trainings that the department provides so we were uh, trained in various technologies starting from front end technology back end technology uh, we had uh, created the web applications back then in 12 and 21 uh, which helped us to learn how it actually works so we were ready for the jpmc code for good hackathon that comes in 22 then the next thing was coding so as you know that csc and coding can't be separated and coding is something uh, each student that joins into csc is looking forward to in his whole four years of life so the coding culture in the department is tremendous the touring art does a tremendous job we had uh, peer training boot camps every saturday which helped us to learn uh, more about the languages and how we can participate in the ongoing coding contest beat lead code code forces code chef back then and even hacker rank in the beginning so the training uh, in coding really helps and also the specialized advanced uh, coding uh, which are which is provided by smart interviews is uh, like uh, icing on a cake that it's it really helps a lot uh, to crack the crack and ace interviews of uh, the fang or mang as you call it so it really helps and also uh, uh, coming to projects so i i would like to also speak about the projects i worked on and also how the department helped me to learn what actually happens behind a project so uh, we i learned about we as a team learned about deep learning uh, in the project in the minor project and we did publish a paper about it and also learned how machine learning and deep learning works so it really helped us a lot that it is one of the emerging technologies and deep fakes as you know is the trend of the word of the hour because there are too many deep fake videos in the market so we did the project on it in third year and 
in our major project we also focused on blockchain uh, as uh, to how to improve the efficiency of voting system so again the department is very robust in helping us with the new emerging technologies so uh, these are the few things which the department helped me in molding me into the role i am currently at aws all the learnings are still with me and continue to help me get to the transition of my career here as well uh, thank you ma'am thank you sir thank you thank you meher gari for your elaborate <laughs> yeah thank you so much meher uh, thank you for joining and we always welcome back you uh, this is the culture in the department we encourage our alumni to come back and share their experience not only immediately after leaving any time they are most welcome back thank you once again Please. yes ma'am sure thank you so much yeah once again thank you i'm open every time So now I request a Shreya to listen. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, once again, good afternoon. Uh, so uh, Shreya to listen, you recently passed out from uh, VNR. So how is your experience? So thank you, sir, for having me here, and uh, good afternoon to everyone present here. So I was a pass out of uh, 2023, and uh, I am currently working now at Google as a software engineer. so i would say the college really encourages and helps us so as meher also mentioned we have like lot of trainings uh, so especially the coding trainings that were given they really helped me with my interviews to get the job and the front end technology training and the back end technology training it does help me now with my work and also coming to the projects we were really encouraged to take up ml and ai projects which made me like which made me and my teammates learn a lot of things so when i was asked to work about ai and ml in my current job it became little easier for me because i al already had some knowledge on that and the professor also really helpful well you can go and ask them about any doubts and the placements are all it's also very good where you are given a lot of trainings continuously till you are placed so that is very helpful Yeah, thank you, thank you, Srija. So uh, thank small... you, Srija. Uh, we welcome you back once again, and please be connected with the department. Any of thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, Srija, to listen, it's a small question for you uh, yes, from sir. the participants. I mean, uh, what is the imp uh, importance of the internship and uh, from which year it is possible to do the internships? So internships mostly start from our second year, second semester, where we are given opportunities to apply. But as you go into a third year, the number of internship opportunities increase a lot, where you have opportunities from Google, Microsoft, Amazon, and these are both off campus and on campus. Uh, also, there is JPMC and many other companies. And internships are really like if you get through an internship. they add to your industry experience so which will eventually help you to secure a good job which you aim for and all these trainings that we are given will actually help us to crack the interviews for the internships yeah thank you thank you srijan um we had a small push we had yeah we had a question ma'am i mean is there any uh, in house internship opportunities that has been provided in vnr Uh, sorry, sir, I couldn't hear you. Yeah, okay. Uh, uh, Sija, um, thank you, Nana. It's a question to uh, Nagini, ma'am. It's a question to from the participants. They are asking: Is there any in-house internship opportunities that has been provided in VNR? Ah, uh, yeah. This to answer this, we have unplatforms the industry which is established here. Uh, definitely the students have to go through the level of testing to be part of start working in the third year uh, in a payment paid internship more so they are also subjected to two levels of testing initially the coding and then uh, they have to clear uh, the gt round and later the interview uh, then they will be absorbed into the uh, internships but uh to get exposed so the question here is to gain knowledge uh, students need not go ahead with the regular internship modes but still they can work with the phd works that is being carried out by the faculty in the department and start publishing papers that will definitely project your uh, capability to the outside world 
so we, we we always encourage our students to update their linkedin profiles accordingly many of our students have been just uh, pulled into the uh, jobs based on the linkedin profiles so we the students have an opportunity to work under the faculty also yeah yeah thank you ma'am uh, is there other question uh, nowadays uh, our honorable prime minister is speaking about the startups uh, under this different type of government schemes like uh, startup in uh, india you know, uh, initiative like uh, Atal Innovation Mission and Pradhan Mantri Mudra Yojana and different type of things. Is there any support and uh, scope uh, of, to establish a startups in VNR after completing the BTEC program? Uh, this this is very much strong in the entire institute uh, based on the work that the students are interested to carry out and if it supports any of the initiatives by the regional or the national level. Uh, definitely at the incubation level, uh, the seed amount is given up to 5 lakh based on the idea that is being generated by the students. But it will be violated by the R&D department of the institute uh, and then the seed fund will be released. The later on, whatever support structure they want, that all is being carried out by the institute. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, it's to, a question to uh, Dr. P.V. Shukmar, sir. Yeah. Sir, it's a regular question that is asked by the students and parents. Is there any difference between the CSC and other aligned branches like uh, ML, AIDS, like blockchain, IoT and other things? Is there any curriculum difference? Yeah, curriculum difference means the core subjects of all computer science, 80% core subjects are common with all, all allied branches. Only 20% of elective courses will be maybe different. But coming to the computer science and engineering, they have one flexibility that they can choose whatever the emerging technology they're interested, they can mold and they can choose their electives. If somebody is really interested with the AML courses, they can choose that six elective courses from third year onwards to final year, and they can acquire all the, uh, six uh, subjects in that domain. If somebody is really interested to learn about data science, they can go through the data science track. So here we are offering all the courses in the track mode so that they can adopt any domain which is really they interested and they can pursue their knowledge in that domain. So that is the flexibility we are having in the general CSC branch. So apart from that, 80% of common courses are there among with all the allied branches. All core subjects are common among all the branches. Thank you, sir. Now the question to uh, training and placement uh, team, sir. I mean, uh, is there any difference in the uh, placement opportunities and training opportunities that has been provided for CSC and CSBS? Uh, it is same for all the branches, for, uh, the, all these allied branches like AML data science, uh, uh, all these CSBS at every branch comes under CSE only. Whatever the training we are offering from the first year, second semester, that will be same for all the students. And later the coding training and later the technologies, uh, various technologies, uh, whatever the trainings we are offering and aptitude training, all these are the same for everyone. And also the companies, whatever the companies, around 125 companies will visit our campus for every year. And this year, uh, till now, one not nine companies have visited our campus and they are offering uh, 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 for they are giving the opportunity to all these uh, branches CSE, IT, CSBS and all the new branches uh, thank you sir sir uh, in our department we have the different type of MOUs so under the MOUs with the corporate world is there any uh, internship and placement opportunities that has been provided by those uh, MOUs companies Yeah, Ramakrishna, are you answering the question? Ramakrishna? Hello, am I audible? Yeah, you are audible, sir. Sir, can you repeat that question? Because new to network connection, I have a... Yeah, okay, it's okay, sir. Uh, our department is having MOUs with the different uh, uh, national and international companies, corporate world. Does they provide any sort of uh, in-house internship opportunities during the BTEC career? Yeah, yeah, they are offering actually 
like advanced data parts company and the TCS and uh, uh, JP Morgan, Oracle, and uh, so many companies. And this year, like uh, Oppo, and uh, last year, like on platform company also offered the internship. And uh, later, they got converted into full time employment offer with a pay package of 17 lakhs. And likewise, many companies are there. Uh, they used to come to our campus in third year or sometimes in second year, second semester itself. And uh, they will offer the internships a minimum of stipend uh, 25,000 to a maximum of till now we got around uh, uh, 1 lakh 10,000. So also that they will be converted into full time employment offer after this six to eight months internship and sometimes one year internship. Also. Thank you, sir. During the internship, sir, I mean, uh, uh, does the attendance or also curriculum or also exams, is there any disturbance for the students? Uh, during the internship, like uh, whatever the uh, whatever we are offering through campus, so definitely the student will get the benefit. So we will provide the attendance and students can come to the college every Saturday and they can attend the regular laboratories and they can meet the faculty and they can collect the notes and uh, and whatever the examinations are there yes we will conduct all those uh, um, like mid exams or laboratory exams or whatever exams that we will conduct uh, in their convenient time like uh, especially on saturdays or whatever the free slots are available during that time so that is uh, no problem give that flexibility and thank you sir and uh, it's a uh, it's a question to uh, hod ma'am ma'am uh, what is the support for the ec and cc activities from the department uh, uh, we expect the students uh, to have 75 percent of attendance uh, the rest of the 25 percent uh, they can leverage it for such all usages and if they are really strong with the academics and all, we still leverage it to the 65% level. But uh, we expect them to be on campus in the classrooms to the minimum of 65%. So the rest hall, they have to manage things. On an emergency at a very crucial time, yes, the leverage is given and the attendance is also being given to such students. Uh, any further questions, Sandeep, sir? Yes, ma'am. It's a final question, ma'am. Uh, regarding the ragging, uh, is there any ragging in the department, in the college? And how the faculty, uh, what is a, uh, is there any scope for the mentoring sessions? Uh, with respect to ragging, uh, the entire campus is a ragging free campus. But, uh, you know, if, if at all some uh, things happen in the campus, still they have the flexibility to, to report that in the HOD office. And the mentors are associated at the moment the students join the institute. Mentors will be given to the students. They can reach out to their mentors and also reach out to the head of the department. Uh, and then the things will be easily resolved. Uh, because there are very stringent norms in the college. If the, the seniors get into the ragging, they will be, you know, uh, removed from the college and all. So students know the rules. And definitely we are here to support if the students are uh, getting into any sort of difficulty and they require any sort of moral support and all that is there. Yeah, I've been, uh, ma'am, there are certain questions uh, that are coming up, popping up in the uh, chat. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yeah. ma Can you just take over there? Yeah, yes, yeah. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for uh, the insights into the branch prospects. Uh, so. Yeah, uh, I think Archana, ma'am, I have asked you. Uh, you have I have clarified this question in the previous session also. I think uh, you have logged in again into this session. Uh, so CRL rank of forty three thousand CSC branch might be a tough call because uh, our ranks CRL ranks generally close for CSC below thirty thousand itself. Okay, hostel facilities are there uh, though it's not in the uh, own campus. It's just a uh, what you call half kilometer away, which is our own premises only, maintained by us only. So we'll be taking care of uh, taking the students to the hostel and bringing them back to the college during the college timings. So it's completely maintained by us and our own campus only. Yeah, CSC, yes, Sarchina, ma'am. This is for CSC I'm talking about. So for CSC, the cutoffs are uh, pretty much uh, at a good level only. So last year, we had an opening CRL rank of 
4000 je means uh, who is already studying in csc right now so for that reason uh, almost uh, below 30000 itself uh, all the uh, seats are getting filled up for the bcat especially so anything else i request the parents and students uh, to keep uh, putting their questions in in the either in the chat box or through you can unmute yourself and put forth the question also better be on the technical aspects rather than the admission process anyway all the admission process will be putting up on the website all regular updates will be there on the website mode of admissions of csc in vnr uh, rahul choudhury yeah sir there are three processes by which you can get in admission in uh, vnr one is your uh, um mset counseling or epset counseling uh, so which is through the ts epset rank so all the last year cut off ranks are provided on the website itself uh, so last year ranks are furnished in our website uh, on the admissions page you can go through it uh, to have an awareness of what rank you stay at what branch you can get through and similarly you have 15% seats which are earmarked through category b for which the criteria will be je mains crl rank and similarly there is 15% 6 uh, which are there for the uh, nra nra sponsored and management quota uh, for which the fee structure will be $5000 per year and uh, which comes around 4 lakh 20000 per year and the criteria will be 11th and 12th aggregate percentage marks and we also do have this uh, supernumerary quota which we call it as foreign quota which is way beyond the sanction intake there is 15% seats earmarked for that also so all those uh, students who have an OCI card or the uh, students of parents who are working in Gulf countries, uh, so okay, CIWG, OCI, and also any foreign national student who has done his complete education abroad. So these are the criteria for which we can give you an admission through foreign quota. So if you need further details, you can visit our international admissions page also for that. In supernumerary, do you offer based on 12th grade marks or 11th or 12th in CBSE? Yeah. Sir, basically for CBSC, we go, go, we go with the board exam only, board exam marks, whatever are being given. Gautam, sir, uh, if you are asking about uh, the supernumerary foreign quota. When can we visit the campus, sir? All working days, all the weekdays are working days for us. Uh, so from 9 to 5, we'll be available at the admission section. D block, fifth floor, you can always walk in. Good, good evening, ma'am. Yes, sir. On, on what basis you are uh, offering in internships and from which year? Starting from the second year it, itself is good to start. Um, Ragni, ma'am? They're asking yeah, about you. Yeah, Ramakrishna, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. In the second year, second semester itself, uh, the, the JP Morgan company and Oracle company and few other companies are offering the internship, but it is it will be a uh, summer internship uh, only two months. So after completion of third year, second semester only, they will uh, uh, go to the company and they will complete their internship. So especially the students will uh, start doing the internships at third year first semester and third year second semester that is the good time to perform because uh, they need to learn some technologies that will be happened only in the second year second semester so why we are giving the training in the first year second semester and second year first semester that uh, uh, front end technologies back end means that is for uh, jp morgan company because jp morgan is uh, coming in second year second semester and every time uh, nearly from our vnr uh, around uh, 70 to 73 students have got placed every year and last year also 57 students got placed and uh, day before yesterday uh, we have received the results for the final hack hackathon that is going to uh, conduct in the this month only june 24th and uh, around uh, 71 students are uh, going to attend that hackathon uh, uh, 71 students of uh, second year and 32 students of third year students they are going to attend this hackathon so after this completion of this hackathon they will uh, offered by internship and uh, that they will do it in next year uh, in the summer so likewise um, uh, many opportunities they will get in third year first semester Thank you. Uh, okay. Uh, I uh, once uh, just a small doubt uh, on what basis you are giving an internship to the students. 
uh, according uh, to the cgpa or what uh, any yeah, i think the parameter is obviously cgpa only sir earlier it was 7 cgpa and now they are taking like uh, 8 cgpa it's because of uh, current it market condition and stuff no? so they are offering uh, like very few positions they are offering so for that uh, like they are uh, minimum 7 cgpa sir minimum 7 and uh, mm -hmm. uh, like 8.5 sometimes sir. and based on the cgpa and based on their uh, resume uh, and uh, based on the technologies they have learned and based on the coding skills because we will start giving the coding training in second year first semester itself and in the third year first semester uh, they will be shortlisted for advanced skills training by the end of third year first semester uh, so they will be good uh, to attend all the companies because they will uh, learn the all the technologies and also they will complete successfully this coding training so by considering all these things only the students will be shortlisted and they will conduct uh, three to four rounds and based on their performance only they'll be offering the internship yeah uh, thank you sir so some pv sir has raised his hand sir what is your question Hi. So this management quota and all. So by when we will come to know and how? I mean the communication. Yeah, ma'am. Uh, so actually, the management quotas uh, will be through an online application process, which we'll be putting forth on our website very shortly. So we can't uh, release the application just because we are waiting for the government order. So once we get a government order, we'll be releasing the application for that, both for category B and NRI. You will have to apply it through online only. And coming to Chanukya sir, who has typed in the chat box about NRI cutoffs. Sir, NRI cutoffs for CSE branch, if you are asking for, it is uh, above 97 or 98, sir. Uh, so as per the last year cutoffs, I'm just furnishing this information. But it keeps varying because each and every year, uh, it is dependent on the applicants, actually. So the students who apply with us, uh, what is the highest cutoffs and all, we'll, based on that only, we'll be taking a call on that. So that can be a, a thing which is like based on the application applications that we received this year. Okay. And supernumerary quota, Gautam sir, uh, it's a direct admission only. It's not through the convener announcement, but we will be releasing the application related to this foreign uh, admissions also along with this BCAT and NRA application. Okay. So then you can apply through that. Yes, Rahul sir, you can put forth your question. Yeah, ma'am. Uh, I wanted a little bit differentiate uh, between uh, NRI quota and NRI sponsored quota. Yes. Uh, so NRI is basically where we take into consideration that uh, they have done their complete education that the students who have done till their 12th grade abroad. I mean, it's not like uh, they have done their education completely abroad. So they, they we consider them as the pure NRIs actually. Okay. So it, we will verify the credentials also like their passport and visa validity and all those things also apart from their education so that is, i mean we prioritize them before the nra sponsored so nra sponsored is something like uh, any person who has got a, a what do you call a friend or a relative who is staying abroad okay so they can also claim this uh, nra sponsored category c wherein they will be giving us a information related to a sponsorship form which will be furnishing along with the application so you will have to fill up that form and submit it to us along with the proof of uh, that from an NRI actually. Anyway, the process of application will be very clear to you. I think uh, even if I say something more than this also, you will not be able to understand unless you see the application. Is there any cutoff difference between NRI and NRI sponsored quota for CSE branch core so CSE? An, an NRI pure NRI is basically essentially based on the study what they have done. Okay. So their cutoffs will not map with our cutoffs. Okay. So in India, our cutoffs are a little bit higher compared to the students who are studying abroad. So definitely an edge will be there for the students who have done their complete education abroad. So first priority will be to those candidates. But there will be very few people coming into that category also. Then NRI sponsored at the students where most of the students have done their education right in Telangana itself or probably in some of the other state in India. Okay. So those people also will be eligible under this category. And there, definitely, their 11th and 12th aggregate marks will be taken into consideration for admission. Ma'am, but uh, uh, I, I have an American passport, uh, or my 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 son has been studying uh, in up to 10th class and intermediate in Telangana board, but I have an American passport. But I will come under NRA quota, right? Or NRA sponsored quota? You will come under NRA sponsored quota, 
Okay, okay. If I studied in uh, US only, then I will get the NRA quota, right? Yeah. Madam, what is the cutoff of last year core CSC NRA sponsored quota? That's what I told you, sir. 97-98 was the percentage for which we have given CSC branches last year. Every year um, it differs. It depends on the applicants. Basically, how many applications I receive, what is the maximum percentage I receive. Based on that only, addition will be taken. Sir, Rahul, sir, I suggest if you have more questions on this, please visit the college rather than talking in this online discussion because we do have some technical questions which we want to take up. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. Yeah, any parents or students who want to ask uh, because right now you have the experts, all the subject experts, uh, the head of the department, placements coordinator, and everyone is available in this panel discussion. I request the parents to utilize this opportunity to ask them more questions rather than on the admission process. As I told, everything related to the admission process will be transparent and clearly published on our website as soon as the guidelines are given. Okay, so you can refer to that. And at that point, if any queries are there, you can always uh, send us a mail. I'll drop the mail ID also in the chat box so that you can send us if you have any queries more than this. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, yeah, dear parents and uh, uh, students, if you have any sort of doubt regarding uh, department, you can go ahead. Yeah, I have a question regarding uh, business system, CS in business system. So what exactly is the focus of it in addition to the core CS? Uh, yeah, good question, sir. Uh, this is the 80% the of the content with CSE and CS based remains the same. But uh, at every stage from the first year onwards, every semester, there is a management subject which is introduced to them. Uh, let it be uh, fundamental self-management or economics, cost accountancy, business intelligence, business strategy. These are the things that are uh, that keep up coming uh, over years. So that is the fundamental difference between CSE and CSPS. Okay, thank you. Any questions? Can we conclude the session? Uh, yes, sir. Sandeep, sir. I think uh, we can conclude the session. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, once again, uh, thank you, Kansuda, ma'am, for uh, spending your valuable time. I think you are very much busy with the admission process with the parents and the, uh, with the panel discussions, all, that, all these things. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for joining the session. Yeah, dear parents, thank you all for joining. And also thank all the panel members who have joined here. Uh, and good wishes and best of luck to the uh, students who are willing to join VNRBJIT. Thank you all once again. Yeah, thank you to head of the department, Nagni ma'am and her team uh, for uh, allowing this panel discussion to be conducted. So, and they have also spared their valuable time in the uh, midst of so many works, uh, college works. So thank you ma'am. Thanks to all the team, those who have joined us today. A uh, special mention of thanks to Kiran Mai Ma'am and Shiv Kumar Sir who have joined us also on this occasion. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, you Ma'am. Thank you a lot. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, finally, thank you to uh, Mihir and uh, Srijat Tulasi for joining uh, the session. Anna. So, your and, and so dear, part, dear parents and uh, students, you can uh, leave the session. Thank you.